Happy Sabbath. It is a nice time that our God has granted us to be here. We really appreciate. I want to take this opportunity to greet my dear brothers and sisters, my dear viewers, my dear followers, subscribers, wherever you are. Now, for your coffee, we are going to see Today, we are going to see uh, the someone that speaks. What a friend we are in Jesus. So we are going to sing the song that goes that what a friend we are in Jesus. Let's go. What a friend we are in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry. Three things of God in prayer. Oh, what a peace we hope and forfeit. Oh, what need respect we pair. All because we do not carry. Three things of God in prayer. Oh, now they can now my own Oh, now my shock appear. I fai ku fa mo yo Do fa ata si ki e Aku na wingi ne we ma Wa ku tu ru mi a A tu ju wa du da i ku Om bi a si ki a Because as I have said today, our someone in a sema kuwa what a friend we have in Jesus. Yesu ni rafiki wa kweri katika maisha yetu. Nyasa Christ ina kiesa kurete ki arumu sani. Tari sa wa someone ina kiesu are umu sani. Let's pray. Our kind and the first in Father in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this precious Sabbath that you have granted unto us. Lord, see now we are going to see that how thus Jesus is a friend to us. Lord, I pray that you send the Holy Spirit to us so that we can be able to understand and change our lifestyle so that we can live the way like Jesus Christ lived. And we love others as he loved us on he died on the cross for our sins. Lord be with us. It is our humble prayer through the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the song that we have sung uh, we want to see the writer Mwenyewa Aliandika Vipi. Before we, we we see that story, uh, our key text is coming from the book of Philippians for us. Six and the Bible say, be anxious for nothing but everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. So, the writer, when I mean this song, the writer of this song is called Joseph Scriven. I don't know whether you have ever gone across, you know, that who wrote this uh, song that called What a Friend We Have in Jesus. It's called the uh, Joseph Scriven, I respond. Joseph M. Scriven, and he's, uh, he was born between uh, 1819 to 
1996 so uh, he was 25 years old in love and this is the time he started loving feeling love hii tunasema mapenzi aliingia katika mapenzi akiwa na miaka 25 i don't know where wewe kama mtu una, unaanza hii mapenzi this this life of love ukiwa miaka ngapi lakini ukiangalia the right of this uh, song arianza mapenzi akiwa 25 years old in love to be married the day before his wedding children of god his fiance died in a, tra a tragic uh, drowning accident at broken joseph when you see this at broken that has uh, found joseph scriven uh, it is an art broken by the way joseph sailed he decided to sail from his homeland to start a new life in canada it is like maybe i sara am a kenyan and maybe i have got some issues i don't know which issues can get you like this but as found joseph scriven uh, i decided uh, maybe to run away from kenya to go abroad even in qatar even usa so as you see uh, joseph scriven decided to do what to sell from his homeland to live in canada so while in canada working as a teacher he was a, a teacher by the way he fell in love again he decided to do what to fall in love this is the second time you see children of god he decided to to do what to fall in love again and become engaged to a racer you see the first lover amefanya nini ameha gadunia now is the second lover that he call erisa elisa noche a relative of one of his students this is a relative of his one student by the way once again joseph Joseph's open dreams was shattered when Eliza became ill and died. You see, Eliza became ill. The the disease called uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia ekeuno kwa kikisi. So pneumonia uh, attacked Eliza's lover of Joseph's craven. He died before the wedding could in take place. Unajua this uh, situation that are getting him. It's the second time, my dear brethren, it is not an easy thing that you can take as a human kind. Although one can only imagine the turmoil, even you, you can actually imagine the turmoil within this young man. He was 25 years, you see, and only uh, this is history. When you look about the history, history tells us that his faith in God uh, sustained it actually he had faith in god and his faith sustained him soon after Eliza's died you see the second wife has been dead also when alikuwa amependa saidi so joseph joined the porimout uh, brethren and began preaching for a baptist a baptist church he never married wakati alipata hizi changamoto mbili aku aku ifanya nini aku ifikiria tena kufanya nini kwa he never married but he spent the remainder of his life giving all his time uh, money and even the cross of his own back to help the rest fortunate and to spread the love and the compassion of Jesus Christ wherever he went around wherever he walked the same time that Eliza died Joseph received word from Ireland wakati Eliza rihaga dunia ali pata nini he received a, a word from Ireland Ireland that his mother was ill angalia sasa changamoto ingine imeingia mamake pia amekuwa mgonjwa you see uh, Joseph Scriven ayuko kwao aliama from his homeland to Canada. You see tena mamaka amefanya nini? Amekuwa mgonjwa. He could not go. Angeweza kufanya nini? Kurudi kwao ili aweze kufanya nini kuona mamake. He could not go to be with her. So he decided to wrote a letter of comfort to and encrossed one of his poems when you see this letter that he uh, that uh, joseph scriven wrote entitled what a friend we have in jesus that's why i decided today 
to prod this uh, someone that say what a friend we have in Jesus ukiangalia the writer of this song ameiandika lakini is uh, when you see it, we uh, he just write uh, this what a friend we have in Jesus many years when you look about this children of god many years later a friend was sitting with joseph joseph had a friend as we can have a friend unajua kwa hii maisha you can't be alone or you can't be just live your life alone but we have friends in this world and many 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 friends you see joseph was having one friend and this friend of uh, uh, of joseph as was uh, he came and was sitting with Joseph as he was very ill sasa hii wakati Joseph ameandika this uh, poem yenye sahi inakuwa kama wimbo alikuwa mgonjwa during this feast the friend was very impressed when he learned across his poems including what a friend we have in Jesus as a result of this feast uh, almost 30 years after his letter of comfort to his mother Joseph his poems were published in a book uh, called hymns and other verses so children of god when you look joseph is actually undergoing pain especially both of the people he loved both died you see the first lover akafanya nini akaga the second lover pia meaga another person sasa mwenye alikuwa the most lava mamake unajua ukiangalia when you lose a mother it is like you have lost everything because uh, when you have your mother even uh, your father but the mom actually play a role a big role in the family sasa wakati alifanya nini eh uh, apa amepoteza watu wenye alikuwa amefanya nini especially for of the people he loved both died i would never imagine i don't know what would you imagine but on my side i would never imagine what was going through his head and i feel sad for him his life was so hard a uh, poor man children of god when you look at the th- uh, at the third stanza it actually motivate me and it is most important stanza in the song since we would be praising god rather than praying to him I would like to know how you feel this song. Najua sijui kama wewe mtu pinafs una unachukua this song aje ama how do you feel it? Mimi sijui lakini wakati tunahimba this song actually it actually motivates me and it actually makes me to do what? to move closer to God. Hata nikiwa high school I remember this was my most uh, my most uh my best song ata tulifanya nini tuli record kama school choir so this is was my best song like yesu laviki ni ni nini laviki kwetu yesu kwetu ni laviki biwa tabia atujui to the ifu Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yes, no musani ito. Mm-mm. When you look about this three, uh, the the third uh, stanza in atumbia kwanga. Che unayo atangu. We see kwendelea. Mm-mm. Wakati un unafanya nini unayo hata nguvu uweze kufanya nini kuendelea wakati umedharauriwa utapo fanya nini rushwa pia watu wakikudharau my dear brothers and sisters wenye wanapenda dunia ufanya nini hakuna rafiki ambaye anapenda dunia atakupenda ama atakufanya nini atakusaidia lakini ukiangalia Yesu Yesu kwetu ni nini ni rafiki Uambi wafanya nini acha pia tukiopa kwa babae um, maombi atafanya nini atasikia ndio maana tuliposoma our key text ilikuwa inatuambia that answers for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request made known to god so why can't we go to the other uh, other friends that cannot help us or why can't we surrender our everything to God through Jesus Christ when you see about Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is our friend 
By the end of this sermon, you are going to understand what do we mean that our God is a, our Jesus Christ is a friend of us. So that's why I say that the last stanza actually it actually made me to do what to be. It is a, motiv a motivation to me. It is most important stanza in the song since we will be praising God rather than praying. To him, I would like to know how you feel this song, children of God. We are made for friendship with God. God does not just want us to do what. God does not want us to know about Him. He wants us to know Him and to experience His friendship. How did you? Uh, the only thing I can advise or hurt you, my dear brethren, is that let it be our first love to enter into an everlasting kingdom, uh, to enter into an everlasting friendship with Jesus Christ, that it never shall be broken. When you look at the book of WJE uh, online for him 44, in a kuwa, it is a quote, it quotes that the Gospels calls us to trust Jesus our Savior, submit to him as our king and let us my dear brothers and sisters follow him as our treasure unaizapata mtu anakwambia that sarai treasure you i really love you i really treasure you did you treasure jesus christ as our savior that is a question that we are asking ourselves you can't say that you treasure your friend and uh, you can't say that you treasure jesus christ and yet, you ate your friends in this world. You, the first thing that you need to do, you need to treasure the friends of this world. And also, finally, you treasure Jesus Christ. So, uh, our Jesus Christ, uh, our treasure, is also called us to enjoy Him as our friend. But it, do you feel Him this way, children of God? What does it mean for Him? to be our innermost friend, to be our truest friend. And how do we experience his friendship? Our Jesus Christ, my dear friends, my dear brother, he gathered, uh, calls us friends. Jesus gathered his disciples one last time on the night before he died uh, to prepare them for the next day and beyond in the midst of the sacred evening. He said, no longer do I call you servants for the servant doesn't know uh, what as what his master is doing but i have called you friends for all that i have heard from my father i have made known to you when you read the book of john 15 verse 15 to be called jesus his servant children of god is immeasurable and the privilege yet jesus confers as greater honor he brings us ever closer he calls us friends children of god we were made for friendship with god through jesus christ our christ opened his heart najua watu wengine anaweza kuambia too much ati nakupenda ndio maana unasikia mkisia anasema una wancha nimbo maiso mio yetakora tiki itamanya ini so mkisia kiongea hivyo alikuwa anamaanisha so many of us you can say that Sarah, I love you. I really love you. You are my, uh, my really friend. You are my really sister. But in his heart, anafanya nini? Anakuchukia. But when you look, our Christ opened his heart with the transparency where a master does in the Sarah. His servant, what is he doing? Jesus Christ uh, revealed his father's will to us and he will send his spirit to ensure that all future disciples that is where you are that is where i am we will hear these words when you read the book of john 14 26 12 15 the cross proves his friendship to us he said greater love as no one than this that someone lay down his life for his friends he wanted uh, us to see the cross and think we understand actually think that we understand that we are his friend and we should feel this friendship children of god and there is something that we should do there uh, is we he, uh, he substituted himself for me for you and under god is sorry <coughs> under god is uh, lad, and he did 
it because it feels me it feels you as is treasured friend how wonderful how a uh, promise that god he did for us he actually treasured us as friends he wants us to feel the cross as an affection feel sacrifice for friendship uh, for friends my dear my dear brothers and sisters friendship is in the deepest heart of christ and it is the very center of the gospel christ wants us to feel the cross as an affection feel sacrifice uh, for friendship when you look let us look at an example when you look about jonathan his friendship with the david you know this story of jonathan and david david in in the book of first samuel uh, that is where you get this story of david and jonathan gives us a clear parallel or a, a clear picture we lightly think of them as exemplifying uh, friendship but their story specifically pictures how we can be friends with christ the king jonathan was the friend of david yet david was isolated and with that king and when david called on jonathan to demonstrate faithfulness he responded whatever you say i will do for you first somewhere 20 first four that is where you get those words as david points uh, forward to jesus christ as the king jonathan points forward to all who follow christ as friend children of god that is this the good example that we need to do what to instead because when you see jonathan and uh, and uh, david we need to avoid errors and we need to stop pretending to be friends to jesus christ you get this many of us we are pretending that we are friends to jesus christ while we are enemies to others let us emphasize jesus uh, kingship that we neglect his companionship we could so emphasize his authority that we don't enjoy his affection but jesus of of uh, of us himself how did Jesus Christ over himself? Look at the cross. He over himself so that I and you shall become righteousness. Himself to us put our ruler and our crosses friend. Jesus chooses us as our friends. He died for us as friends. He caused us to trust him as best friends and he will remain forever our friend for the entire endless years to come what a friend we have in moments uh, by moments day by day hour by hour months by month years by years now and forever in jesus that is a friend that we have the only thing i can tell you let us have jesus as our friend because if you have jesus as a friend he will never neglect you he will never hate you he will actually be in you forever but if you have the friends of this world they will even pretend that they love you at the end they will kill you let's pray our kind and first father in heaven thank you lord because we have seen that jesus christ is our friend our innermost friend we pray that we imitate that character that our jesus christ is having towards us so that we act and we do it physically practically to our friends in this world lord lord praise all of our my viewers my followers wherever they are praise our parents praise our country as we have read this someone let it sing into our mind and change our lifestyle Lord, we are great sinners. We ask for forgiveness. Let your will be done according to thy will. It is our humble prayer through thy name of Jesus Christ. Amen.